We are a little more than two months into Florida's six-week abortion ban, restrictions that have more women traveling out of state to seek abortions. WPTV, Stephanie Suskind with insights on the new reality and what comes next from those on both sides of this issue. The words that I keep hearing from our providers and our nurse practitioners are um, moral distress is what they're feeling. Michelle Casada with Planned Parenthood of Southeast and North Florida says the past two months have been challenging as women weigh their choices following Florida's six week abortion ban. It's a point before some women realize they're pregnant. There are many patients that, you know, once they get the news, they need time to process. They may go back and think about, you know, what what um, their options are. If they want to travel to another state, if they have family in any other states with access. Planned Parenthood in this region alone says they've helped more than 330 women navigate to other states for abortion services. The majority are going to North Carolina, the closest state that has a 12-week ban in place. Casada says others go to Virginia or northern states like New York. An additional 50 women a week, she says, are navigating the journey to states on their own. It's a big change from what Planned Parenthood was doing before the May 1st change in Florida law. The majority of patients that we were helping with patient navigation were patients who were coming from other states in the South coming to Florida. We were not navigating nearly as many Floridians. It was very rare um, where we would navigate Floridians that were beyond 15 weeks to other states. I think it's very important for any culture to protect the most vulnerable among them. And I think that's clearly what Florida has been doing with this heartbeat bill. Matt Staver is the founder and chairman of the Liberty Council. He too says he sees a change since May, praising the ban's impact. I believe a lot of babies will be saved, have been saved since then. Florida is thriving. I think it'll thrive even more when we continue this road of protecting the sanctity of human life. Now, both sides on the abortion issue say a lot of the focus has shifted now to November and Amendment 4 here in Florida. That measure would limit government interference with abortion, allowing the procedure until fetal viability, which is usually considered about 24 weeks, or at any point to protect the patient's health. So this issue really will be in voters' hands in just a matter of months. A very personal issue for a lot of people, and we expect to really see things ramp up as far as political action. Sure. and things of that nature as we get closer to November. An issue we know people will be likely headed to the ballots for specifically. Some yeah. driving voters. Certainly in the eyes of the nation will be watching how Florida voters do vote in yes, November. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much.